the victims of an incomprehensible act of violence. Tonight, the person responsible for their deaths is appealing his conviction. The man who drove a rented van down a Young Street sidewalk continuing his legal fight. Good evening, Alec Manassian was sentenced to life in prison with no chance of parole for 25 years. Admitting to planning and carrying out the attack, one of the most horrific days in our city's history. CTV Sean Lee Thong is following these developments and joins us with more. Sean. Well, Nathan and Michelle, it may come as a surprise to some of our viewers to find out that the man who is responsible for those 10 deaths and one a little bit later on is actually appealing the decision. He was sentenced to life in prison without a chance for parole for 25 years back in June. But I'll take you back to the actual day this happened. It was April 23rd, 2018. The attacker drove a rented van down Young Street, killing 10 people and one more dying three years later. He was convicted in March of 2021 of 10, 10 counts of first-degree murder and 16 counts of attempted murder. The attacker admitted that he drove the van and he was apprehended by police at the scene. The argument from his defense attorney is that the judge in this case misapprehended some facts in the trial. Kim Schofield is a criminal defense lawyer and she can give some insight into the appeal. She says that the particular part of this appeal comes down to the expert witnesses and how the judge applied some facts presented by the defense's expert witness. So he argued that he was not criminally responsible due to uh, being autistic. We'll, we'll all recall this uh, issue in the trial. Uh, and the uh, defense say that uh, the judge misapprehended that defense expert. And it will be up to the Court of Appeal to decide if, in fact, that evidence was misapprehended. Now, Schofield did say that this would be an uphill battle, as all appeals are. She said that it could be possible that they could find some factual errors in the trial, but the real question is whether those factual errors would lead to a changing of the finding of guilt in these 10 cases and the finding of guilt in the 16 uh, attempted murder cases. She also said it is not likely that anything will be heard in this for over a year. Reporting live, I'm Sean Lethong. I'll send it back inside. All right, thank you, Sean.